When the victory of Allah has come and the conquest. When the help from Allah comes and victory kisses your feet. Most of the people think that this surah is Madaniya. And it was revealed after the victory had come. Actually, in that case, it should have been Izja. It is Izaja. Iza refers to the future. It was a prophecy, actually. And this is Makki Surah, according to me. All these Surahs we are reading from Suratul Mulk up till now, they are all Makki, no Madri Surah. According to my opinion, only the Muawwaza 10 are the two Madani surahs that come at the end. Otherwise, all these surahs are Makki. So it was said there as a prophecy that, oh Muhammad, the time will come. You are facing hardships, no doubt. You are seeing no way. But a time will come. When that time comes and the help of Allah arrives and victory comes to you, it kisses your feet. وَرَأَيْتَ النَّاسَ يَدْخُلُونَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ أَفْوَاجًا And you see the people entering into the religion of Allah in multitudes. وَرَأَيْتَ النَّاسَ يَدْخُلُونَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ أَفْوَاجًا And you see people entering the deen of Allah in multitudes. Now what is deen of Allah? The system of life where Allah is supreme. This is deen of Allah. We have in Surah Yusuf, deen al-malik. Ma kana le yaakhud aqaw fi deen al-malik. Hazrat Yusuf could not detain with him his brother bin Yamin. According to the law of the king. Yusuf alayhi salam was not the king. The king was the one who saw that dream. And because Hazrat Yusuf alayhi salatu wa salam gave an interpretation of that dream. So, he rose to that position, a very high position. He was a very big officer, so to say, maybe finance minister, maybe food minister, maybe agriculture minister, sort of that thing, but not king. So, he was under the rule of the king, Daniel Malik. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had to devise, you know, a special thing for him, so that he could detain or retain his brother with him. So, when, you know, a king is accepted as monarch, as Firaun, you know, said, Alay Salim mulku misr, wa hazihil anwaru, hazihil anharu tadiri min tahti. Is not the kingdom of Egypt for me? I am the king. And all these irrigation channels are under my control. So, this is the deen of king, deenul malik. And deen of Allah, Obedience to Allah, whole life under this obedience to Allah. Now somebody is entering this deen of Allah, it's not necessary that he has iman also. He has accepted the obedience, so he is in the, in the deen of Allah. Do you follow what I'm saying? He has accepted the citizenship of this Islamic state. We don't know whether he has iman or not. Some of you must have recalled that ayah number 14 of Surah Al-Hawjarat. قَالَتِ الْعَرَابُ وَآمَنَّا قُلْ لَمْ تُؤْمِنُوا وَلَاكِنْ قُلُوا أَسْلَمْنَا وَلَمَّا يَدْخُلِ الْإِيمَانُ فِي قُلُوبِكُمْ These Bedouins are claiming we have come to believe. Tell them, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you have not at all come to believe. All you may say is, you have surrendered. You have submitted. You have accepted the supremacy of the law of Allah and the deen of Allah. So when that victory will come, and you will see people entering the deen of Allah, accepting the supremacy of the divine rule in multitudes, then at that time, you should glorify your Lord with His praise. 
and also ask for his forgiveness. Ar-Rabbu Rabbun wa in tanazzal wa al-Abdu Abdun wa in tarakka. A servant or a bondsman is a servant. Howsoever high he might rise. And Allah is the Lord, howsoever low he might come. He comes to the first heaven every night. Muhammad went to the seventh heaven on the night of Miraj, ascension. But even there Muhammad was abd. And Allah was Lord. So having reached that position also, never think that you will be very absolutely free from any shortcoming. Shortcoming may abide with there. But we cannot have this on the analogy of our shortcomings. This word of Zamba has also come in Surah Muhammad, Zamba, and Surah Fatah. But you know, our sin and Huzur, this sin of Muhammad, absolutely different. There's the Hadith, Prophet says, إِنَّهُ لَا يُغَانُوا عَلَىٰ قَلْبِ Verily, on my heart also, sometimes I feel there is some curtain has come. وَإِنِّي لَا أَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ سَبْعِينَ مَرَّةً فِي كُلِّ يَوْمٍ And we apologize to Allah. And I ask for His forgiveness seventy times every day. But what about that sin? A slight diminution in the intensity of relationship. This depends upon the how sensitive you are to these things. So for this you ask the forgiveness. Surely, in the Hukanat Awaba, he is ever relenting, always ready to accept the repentance from his servants. Now this surah, I think, should be read with Suratul Inshirah. Today we began with that surah. Faiza Faragta Fansab. Faiza Faragta is here. When the deen of Allah will become supreme in the Arabian Peninsula, your work will be done. Why we sent you for that purpose? Who will the Arsala Rasullah who will Hudaba deen in Hakkil Yuzgira who will the deen fully? When the deen has become dominant, now your mission is accomplished. Faiza Farakta Fansab, Waila Rabbika Farab. Now you meditate to your Lord, devote wholly and solely, you know. To him, the same thing here. Is Aja Nasullah al Fat, Varayat al Nasa yad khuluna fi din Allah yad Faja. Sabih bihamdi Rabbika wa astaghfir. Innahu kana tawaba. Then exalt him with praise of your Lord and ask forgiveness of him. Indeed, he is ever accepting of repentance. فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَاسْتَغْفِرْتُ إِنَّهُ كَانَ تَوَّابًا سورة اللحب Again something concerning the seerah of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم Abu Lahab was the uncle and Umm Jameel his wife both were the worst enemies of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم didn't have any brother nor he ever saw his father. But he has uncles. Now we see how varied about four we know. One loved him, protected him, but didn't believe in him. One believed him and loved him, but after six years. The third one also finally came to believe in him. But he never played any prominent role in the struggle. So much so that up till Badr, he had not declared that he is Mormon. And he came to Badr along with the army of Kuffar. But the Prophet knew that he is a Mormon. And the fourth one is Abu Lahab, the worst enemy. And as I told you, the worst character. The best character of that time, Abu Bakr, Atta, and the worst character of that time was this Abu Lahab. And this incident happened when the command came to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Fasta abe ma tumar. 
This ayah is included in the last portion of Surah Al-Hijr. Now say loudly, O Muhammad, what had been commanded to you, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now we ascended the hillock of Safa, and he raised the cry, Wa Sabaha! This was the custom of the Arabs. If some news came to you that such and such tribe is planning to attack you, this night they will attack you. Now you want that this news should reach all the people immediately so that they can take the precautionary steps, whatever they can take. So what did he used to do? Take off all his clothings, absolute naked, ascended some high place, and then cried out, Wa Sabah! Woe to the morning that is coming. A very bad morning is coming. Now two things happened. Where his voice reached, people heard this. Where the voice was not reaching, people saw a naked man standing on their own. And they called it Naziri Horiyan, the warner, the naked warner. Now here's the lesson for us. If you have to make dawah, you see, what are the means available today? Whatever is haram in it, delete. Whatever is permissible, you have to use. If you don't use, then you are to blame. So when Muhammad ascended and wa sabaha, he cried, people ran to him. But then I can, can't go into detail. When he presented his message, the first response was from Abu Lahab. Tabban laka ali haza jama'atana. Woe to you. Perish you. Did you call us for this thing? We thought there is some danger. You have got some news. You want to warn us from some possible attack of any tribe? 